Hello, this is RSDKY, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the Galaxy S4 voice commands. Now voice commands are a way of operating the phone uh, by your voice instead of always using your hands all the time. Uh, so this is, some of them are useful um, more than others, uh, but we'll see which ones you guys like um, and which ones stand out to you. So how you go into uh, voice commands is by going to settings. So we're going to push menu right here and then hit the settings button right here. And uh, as you know, the S4 is divided into four sections. So we're going to go under my device and then we're just going to scroll all the way up. Oops. And not hit the other button. So now if we scroll all the way up, uh, you see voice control. Um, and what this allows you to do is operate certain apps uh, with your voice. So um, the first one that some people might already know just simply from commercials is incoming calls. So when you have an incoming call, you can say accept or reject. Um, I do say pronunciate it like that, you know, pronounce it correctly uh, just so it will um, hear you correctly. Now obviously in a noisy setting you're not going to be using this, but if you're ever say eating and you don't want to touch your phone or all that, you can just say reject or, you know, uh, if it just makes you feel better to, you know, if a, if a person just like, you know, did something to you and you don't really want to talk to them, you know, you could say with more authority than like, you know, swiping to hang up doesn't really do it, but you can say just reject and it, you know, it just makes you feel better. Um, chat on is uh, not a built-in app, but you can of course download it and uh, use the same exact voice command uh, to do to reject or accept video uh, chats on there. Alarm uh, can be kind of dangerous depending on the user, so you can actually say stop or snooze when an alarm comes on. I actually do this all the time, and it, it's it's actually surprising at uh, the distance that your phone can be and it still hears you. Uh, I usually do not have my phone right next to the bed, it's usually a little bit further away and I always just kind of wake up and say snooze and you know just go back to bed for like five minutes and then you know wait till it goes again. Uh, but I use that a lot. Um, now it depends on the sleeper if you know you're not going to be um, able to get up uh, after you say stop then I don't recommend you do this. This way it kind of teaches you, you know, to get up and actually see that bright screen so it helps wake you up. Uh, for the camera, probably the one I, the voice command I use most often. Uh, a lot of times when you hit the camera button on a phone, even if it is the top, which obviously is better, um, on the S4 you can use the volume rocker keys uh, to take a photo, but voice is far better that way you don't move your device because uh, anytime you tap it moves your device a little bit even if you tap from the bottom it moves it less but you do move the device a little bit uh, the camera uh, saying capture uh, is the one I use for my voice that works the best try uh, all four of them to see which one works the best for your voice uh, but I always say capture to uh, take a photo and it comes out perfect. This is especially at times when I've had to go like around corners and kind of just like angle the device uh, really in a certain way. Um, it's become quite handy. So I use this a lot and it's probably the most voice command that I use the most. Um, and then music. Unfortunately, music is only on the built-in player, so something to keep in mind. If you use something like Google Music, it will not work, or Pandora, or Spotify. This only works for the built-in songs you have on the device. So, but for those built-in, for the built-in music player, you can, of course, say pause, uh, next, play, volume up, volume down, any of those things, or stop, and it will control over the music. Alright guys, well that's been just a basic rundown of the uh, voice commands on the S4 and how to get to them. If you have any questions on it, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.